Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I know I, my hair looks crazy. Just ignore my hair. Just ignore. Today I have my favorite products for the month of December. I have a lot of products that I wanted to mention this month. So let's just get started in the video. I have everything from skincare to makeup, brushes, and I'm going to actually do... Um, music this month. I have a couple music favorites. I'm going to test the waters in the music department and see if y'all like that in my favorite videos. The first thing I want to mention is a nail polish. This is Essie's Marshmallow Nail Polish. It is a beautiful white. This came in my Beautycon BFF box. I love this white and even my mom complimented me on it which says a lot because she always thinks of white as like painting your nails with white out and she loved this because it's so soft. What I love about it is it's you can build it up and put on like two or three layers and get a, you know, white shade. Or if just one and maybe two coats will look almost sheer enough, but not crazy sheer. It like picks up the pink in your nail and just gives it like this iridescent white shade. It's so beautiful. It's so perfect for this time of year. I actually had it on my nails till I peeled it all off in the shower last night. Is anybody else guilty of doing that? Because it gets me all the time. Next thing I want to mention is some toothpaste. This is really random, but I am obsessed. I picked this up. I don't remember when it was, but I had it for a while before I actually started using it. I don't know why I did that. This is actually like a two-in-one set. I got mine at Walmart. It comes in like a little package, and mine actually had this like new signs flashing at it. I think they have two different ones. I can't remember, but and I'm not sure what makes them different. This one is the Brilliance Kit. So these are, I think it's like $13 for the kit, but it's so worth it. I used to use the Crest Whitening Strips, and I I don't think I would have to use them. Like, look, looking at my teeth right now, I don't think I would have to use the Crest Strips anymore because this stuff is so amazing. Like, I, I, I can't stress enough how amazing this stuff is. It's a two-step system. The first step is the Deep Cleansing Toothpaste. It's a, it's a fluoride toothpaste. So after you use it, you can cut, you feel the thickness in the toothpaste. It reminds me a lot of the toothpaste at the dentist, to be honest, where it's almost really dried out instead of like creamy. So you brush your teeth with this for one minute and then you don't rinse and you apply this to your toothbrush and brush your teeth for another minute. This is the whitening finish and it's a whitening gel. So it comes off like a gel. You brush your teeth with this and then you rinse and your teeth feel so clean and they already look whiter. Each time I use it, I feel like they just get whiter and whiter and whiter. And I do it twice a day. So I do it in the morning and at night. It does not feel like an inconvenience. I thought it might, and I think that's why I was intimidated by it at first, and I didn't use it. I let it sit on my bathroom counter, and I kept using my regular toothpaste. And then I finally was like, okay, let's try this out. And it's so easy. It's not any. It's it's not an inconvenience at all. So definitely try this out if you're looking for something to whiten your teeth and, you know, just use probably my favorite thing of the month. <laughs> so let's just go into skincare. I have three skincare. First thing is the Purity um, by Fl or Philosophy Purity Face Wash. I have got the smaller one because I didn't remember how much I loved it. I used to use this a long time ago. I went to Ulta and got a few things and I decided to try this again because I was needing a new face wash and I'm re-obsessed with this. I'm still up to here and I've been using it all month twice a day so it the little goes a long way I just put like I just squeeze about a quarter size amount and I use it all over my face after I've taken all my makeup off or in the morning of course and it just it feels like I'm using oil to wash my face because it's so hydrating it doesn't feel like I'm stripping my face of anything it is a one-step facial cleanser I know it's good for all skin types I know girls with oily skin sensitive skin uh, dry skin like me that use it so it's definitely a, a face wash that anybody could use I, I love it. It's got a really nice smell, not too strong. It doesn't smell like anything in it that would break you out. You know, I, I just love this stuff. Next is an eye cream that I've been using. I think I got this in a subscription box of mine. I'm not sure, but I had it for a while before I started using it, and I love it. It is the Tibetan Goji Berry Advanced Anti-Aging Eye Serum with Retinol. I don't know how much this is or where you can get it, so if anybody knows anything about this, please leave your comments down below for people to see. But it's a powerful formula with advanced peptides designed to stimulate collagen production and diminish fine lines and wrinkles. Tib Tibetan goji berry helps to protect, tighten, and firm. Retinol minimizes lines around the eye. So I use this 
twice a day. I use it in the morning and at night just with my skincare routine. I just put like a small, small size on my, on my hand and then I use my ring finger to just press it into the area under my eye. I just feel like my under eye is a lot more hydrated. I never have any creasing problems throughout the day under my eye, like my makeup settling into any fine lines. I just, I feel like it's really working. And then next is this Denise, Denise. Hydra Shield Ultra Moisturizing Face Serum. This came in a subscription service or something. I'm not sure. I think it might have come in one of my BoxyCharm boxes. It says you apply a generous amount two times a day, but I only do it at night, mainly because there's not a lot in it, and I looked it up, and it's really expensive, unfortunately. I don't know why it's so expensive, because I've really wanted to reorder another one. I'm just going to have to, like, sit on it, but I've been obsessing over it this month. <laughs> What's really cool about it is when I first apply it, I just pat it into my skin all over and it it doesn't look oily I mean it looks oily but it just looks like you're just beaming with healthiness after about five to seven minutes it turns matte and it is it just doesn't look oily anymore but your skin feels and looks so healthy I am so obsessed with this stuff you guys it is so amazing I hate that it's so expensive but most products like this are worth it when they are. If you are in the market for a really good moisturizer and you're, you have dry skin, I'm not sure about oily skin, but definitely dry skin, pick this up and try it because it is insane. My hair is driving me crazy. Next is this little primer combo that I've been loving. If you've been watching my makeup tutorials, I think in the past four of them, I've been using this combo. Actually, not my drugstore one, but all the other ones, I've been using this combo. This is the Too Faced Hangover RX Replenishing Face Primer, and this is the MAC Strobe Cream. This stuff is an extra step I like to do. It just gives a really nice illuminated look. I'm use I used it today underneath my foundation. I just love it. This stuff is more like a moisturizer than like a silicone primer, so it feels awesome. It's got coconut water, probiotic-based ingredient, and skin arrivers. Just mixing these two together, it just feels good and it, it looks good. Like I would put these two on and then just leave the house for the day. That's how amazing it is. This is the Bioderma uh, Makeup Removing Solution for Sensitive Skin. It is a non-rinse paraben-free hypoallergenic product. I was sent this by one of my subscribers, Jen. Thank you, girl. I use it to remove my eye makeup. I do not use makeup wipes on my eyes anymore. I've stopped doing that, especially since I started using this because I just felt like I was ripping my eyes to pieces. I felt way too rough and abrasive. So I take off my makeup on my face with the makeup remover wipe and then I use this on like a, one of the little cotton pads and remove my eye makeup from my eyes. I love this method. This stuff works awesome. I don't have any problems with the burning or anything. Nothing like that. My eyes are very sensitive. Next is a couple brow products that I've been using a ton this month. I think I've been using them all month. This actually was sent to me by her as well. Um, this is the Annabelle Brow Show. I don't know if you can get this in the U.S. I haven't even looked into it, uh, but I've never seen this line out by Annabelle. And my mom and my sister have asked me where I got this, and I'm like, I, I don't think you can get it here, but it's awesome. So one side is the brow, and one side is a highlight. And I don't use the highlight that much. I've used it in my waterline to kind of brighten because it's a pinky shade, but I don't use it that much. The brow side is in medium. I need to sharpen it, but it's it's kind of intimidating because it's a big chunky pencil as you can see but I just I like the the look of it the finish of it I've been using this in all my makeup tutorials I use this as well today I don't have it on I use my Anastasia dip brow next is this product that's been completely rubbed off this is the L'Oreal uh, brow gel plumper I can't remember if I mentioned this last month or not but I've been loving setting my brows with this this one's in soft I think the soft let's see light to medium shade it's just this little mascara, like half size of a mascara wand. And I just put it right through my brows after I do whatever I do with either the pencil or the pomade. And I like this light to medium shade because it just kind of tones down the darkness of the, pe the pencil or the pomade. And just gives it a more natural look. My brows stay in place all day. A lot of people have said that they don't like it because it has like a shimmer to it, but I don't have that issue at all. It just, I think that it might look that way at first, but once it dries, it's good. Next thing is this liner. This is the NYC Liquid Liner. I haven't used this in years. I started using it again recently. It's in black. I forgot how much I love it. This stuff is like $2 and maybe 50 cents at 
anywhere you can get NYC products. And it is so black. I have it on my top line today. I don't have any problems with it burning my eyes, which a lot of liquid liners burn my eyes. So if you are wanting to try a new liquid liner, this one's awesome because it's so affordable. It's kind of like you don't waste money. You're going to love it. It's super black. This is something I wanted to mention last month, and I forgot about it because it's so little. It just got lost in my makeup bag, and I forgot about it when I was getting out my products. But I want to mention it this month. I used this so much in October when I was working and in November. This is the Bobbi Brown Longwear Cream Shadow Stick. It came with like an order from, I think, Nordstrom, and it came with some samples. It's just like a stick. It's a nice deluxe sample size. And this is in the shade... Smoky Topaz. So what I love to do is use this as a shadow base and I've used it by itself but especially as a shadow base with a uh, can't remember one of the shadows from my semi-sweet Too Faced palette it makes the it makes the shadow pop because this the cre the way the base is is amazing. It's kind of got the sheen to it. I just absolutely love it. It's so smooth and creamy and it lasts all day long. I think it's supposed to be yeah long wear cream shadow stick and Smoky Topaz. I want to actually look into more of these because I love the formula of them and the color payoff is amazing. So that is that. Next thing is this blush by Essence. It's a Silky Touch blush in the shade Baby Doll. These are like $3 at Ulta. I've seen them at Ulta. I don't know if you can get them anywhere else, but I've seen them there. It's a beautiful, just like little flush of pink shade. I do have it on my cheeks today absolutely love this it's extremely pigmented and it doesn't look chalky which a lot of the cheaper blushes can be there it is on my hand it's just it's a very natural flush of pink if you are young like 13 14 or you have a daughter that's that age uh, or a sister or anything like that I think this is an awesome blush to start them out on because it's so natural looking it's not going to look like too grown up for them and then if you're just wanting an everyday blush that's super affordable that you know you don't want to use your high-end blushes every day or something this is a great one as well it goes with every look I mean I have on like a silver eye right now and a red lip and it just goes it goes with everything so this is something I think you definitely need to have in your kit or your collection it's a great blush next thing is this Becca highlight in the shade opal it is one of the little small ones because I got it in like a two uh, a kit thing that was $20 at Ulta I don't know if you can still get it I think it's actually sold out at, Ulta, at Sephora but you can try Ulta I'm wearing this right now I've been wearing it a whole lot a whole, whole lot I see why the Becca obsession is so real this is a beautiful shade though I know that the champagne pop gets so much hype this is one of the classics though. I wanted to try a mini before I bought because the, the full sizes are like $38. They're definitely a splurge. It is a beautiful light, like light gold shade because it's not true, like pure gold. It's definitely one of those shades that is universal. I just want to mention two lip, lip products for this month. The first one is the NYX Intense Butter Gloss in Tre Leche. My sister borrowed this on Christmas Day and she was like, what is this? I need it. I was like, I know it's the perfect lip product because it's so pigmented. It looks like you put on a lipstick and a gloss. It is the perfect shade for all looks. It is the best formula ever. It's not dry, drying. It is just so creamy. I absolutely love this stuff. I was wearing this on Christmas Eve and Christmas Day. When it's when it's worn off, it fades perfectly. Like I can't describe it. It kind of goes to a a matte stained look and it it doesn't it just it fades so well. And you can't find a lot of products like that that when it wears off, like you got to keep it on you and reapply. If you don't want to keep it on you to reapply, it just it wears off so nicely. It's my holy grail lip product. Next thing is this Butter London Lip Lippy Bloody Brilliant Lip Crayon in Toff. I wore this in a couple times in my Vlogmas, and a lot of you guys were asking me what I was wearing. It's a deep shade, if you can see it right there. A deep mauve, a deep 
brownie mauve. <laughs> and I love, I love these lippy crayon things by Butter London. I just love the formula. I can't smell. I think they all have this minty like scent to them so that when you wear them it just feel, it just feels good, you know? Last thing I want to mention is my favorite brushes. I've been talking about these since I got them at the beginning of December. They're the blend brushes. I wanted to mention the fa my favorite. I got like the whole line, but I wanted to mention my favorite ones. Like if I had to tell you to only get these, you need these in your life. Like these are the ones you need, okay? For real. So I do have a coupon code to get you like 20 or to get you 20% off their website. I'll link all that below and leave the code so that you can get some money off. They're affordable. They're the best brushes that I own. I don't even touch my other brushes anymore except for a couple that I don't have like in these brushes. Let me just run through the ones that you need, okay? This is the blush brush. It is perfect to apply blush. It applies it perfectly to your cheeks without getting it everywhere and applies it so densely and just beautifully. This is the best contour brush I've ever used in my life. I've used all the different shapes, the dome contour brushes. None of them apply contour as well as this one. The bristles are so compact, it doesn't make a mess of your contour. It just is to the point, gets it right there in your um, hollows of your cheeks. If you are new to contouring or you're intimidated by it or any of that, use this brush. It does the job for you. It is so nice. I'm going to link all these brushes individually. So if you're only interested in a specific one, you can go right to it. But this brush is the best. It makes contouring fun. These are three eye brushes. This is a um, blending brush. This is my like clean blending brush that I use to buff out any work that I've done. This is a tapered blending brush that is perfect to get right there into your crease to do the most detailed work. And then this is the pencil brush to buff out any um, work you've done underneath your lower lash line. Also to get deep into the crease. So if you want to do a nice defined cut crease, this brush does amazing for that. So these are the th three eye brushes I would recommend and the two face brushes. You need these in your life. Go and try at least one of these brushes or two or three or five. Use my 20% off code, take advantage of that to save some money and try these brushes out. They will change the makeup game for you, I swear. And then lastly, I'm gonna mention a few favorite music that I've been loving. Obviously, Justin Bieber's new album is the best album ever. I'm obsessed with it. I've talked about it a lot in my vlogs. Another song that I just recently found that I'm in love with, it's called It All Started With A Beer by Frankie Ballard. And it was more than just smoke Now let's raise them up To where we ended up There's been highs and lows Fast break freeways and bumpy roads Been more smiles and there's been tears Been more good than bad years Ain't it crazy, baby How we got here Oh, it all started with a beat love that song so I've been loving the song this song's actually been around for a while but I've been loving it it's one of those songs where you hear it more and more and then you're like I love that song and I think it's been out for like months like I think since Andy deployed <laughs> but I love it it's by Brothers Osborne called stay a little longer And then, of course, the song that everybody else has been loving this month by Bryson Tiller. Don't love the song. Don't play with 
So there's the couple music favorites, just to see if y'all like the music favorite game, see if I might join, start doing that every month. I hope you enjoyed this favorites video. Leave me some of your favorite products from this month down below. I'd love to try out some new stuff. Don't forget to check out everything. I will link everything below where you can get it so you can just go click, add it to your cart and purchase and then be on your way. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.